How we doing everybody? In this video we're going to look at the stuff I found over the past weekend. Yes, it's Friday and I'm just now getting to stuff we picked up last Saturday. Wasn't very uh, eventful day, but just time well spent with my beautiful wife. First thing I picked up was this little empty box. It's pretty stained up and, and dirty, but it's just kind of a neat little old fishing lure box. The, uh, the spook was a very popular fishing lure, and, and she had a couple there that were really rotted, and I just picked up the empty box instead. The other item was just a little pill tin for Dome's pills. Nothing spectacular, nothing fancy. Got a little bit of rust on it, but just a neat little container I can put some matches in or or some fire tender or something. Uh, go camping or just hang on to it as a cool little box. These items I picked up at an estate sale. I got this handy little Craftsman screwdriver. Can't go wrong with Craftsman. These little tiny screwdrivers come in pretty handy. I had this little pocket clip. Uh, gentleman's knife, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, got a little nail file and, uh, and a little blade. This is made by Imperial USA. It's kind of a neat little pocket knife uh, money clip. I have several of these and uh, I just kind of like them. Uh, pretty cool. This one has this monogram panel on the front side. Uh, luckily, nothing was engraved in it, but it could be. It could be polished up and cleaned up. <coughs> Excuse me. But not a bad little find. And then we got this guy. This blue plastic handled um, two-bladed knife. It's made by the Ideal Knife Company. Uh, a couple months ago, I rebuilt an ideal camp knife and put on wood scales on that knife because the uh, I think it had red plastic scales, if I, if I remember right. But they were kind of uh, loose and bad and had been rigged on there. But this is in pretty good shape. Some rust. I'm going to get it off with the patina. It's got great snap. You can't hear it here because I'm doing a voiceover. Um, always seems to be too noisy at my house to uh, do an actual recording. But uh, it has really good snap and it's going to clean up really good. It's going to be a good, enjoyable. There's a, a view of the uh, clamshell crimped ends on there. Very solid, very tight. Uh, plastic shrunk a little bit, but not too bad. And then there was this guy. I really love this little knife. Nice little jackknife two blade as you can see there poker the uh, badge is missing but the blades in great shape has fantastic snap and if I can focus here you can see the poker USA and on the back is a model number I looked it up it's a pretty common knife I believe that's a 1428 if I recall great snap on this knife I'll have to do a, a snap video one day of all the knives and record their snap but it's very nice and I haven't even cleaned it up yet so looking forward to this one getting cleaned up and um, put back in use I'll carry it around for a few days and then put it in my collection well here you go guys um, these four items right here, the screwdriver, money clip, and the two knives at the estate sale for $2. So essentially 50 cents a piece. A quarter a piece for these other two items, the box and the little peel tin. So my entire weekend was $2.50. And I got to spend a day with my wife. So all in all, it was a good weekend individual cleanup videos to come so please remember to like subscribe hit the notification bell and above all have a beautiful day